So currently we are in Unreal Engine 5.5 and today I'll demonstrate you how you can create this kind of a very smooth, you know, camera animation using some different camera techniques. Let's get started. Well, let's begin the video. So first of all, if you just go back, you can see something like this. So this is basically called camera crane. So to create this, first you are going to reset the entire scene. So first of all, go to file and press new level and I'm just create a basic one and just simply press create. After that, you have this blank new canvas. Now I have already imported my character from Sketchfab. Link is in description box below. You can definitely go and check it out. Simply drag and drop this in your scene and you will find out your character right over here. You can simply scale this up a little bit so now we have this and now just delete the ground also you can hide it it's all up to you now first of all you just need to create a camera so go here and you can find this option called cinematic and then you can option called cine camera actor simply select this so now we have imported our camera because we are going to select go to cinematic and we're going to use this cine camera rig trail so just simply click this and you will find out something like this this is basically a trail kind of a thing where the camera will pan easily in a very smooth way so if you just click on this and if you just drag you can simply see this path is increasing now if you want to you know make it a different way just press alt like hold on your alt key and just drag so it will duplicate also you can call it like extrude kind of a thing so I'll just make a circular shape around this character so that the camera will pan according to it. Now this process will take a little bit of time so that I'm going to fast forward that entire process so that you guys can understand. And now the circular shape is done successfully. But if you notice, this is already pretty in high position. Just select and just move it in Z axis slightly down. So we have our path created. And now let's select the cine camera actor. Just drag and drop this to under this cine camera rig rail. Just drop like this. So now if you notice the camera is attached with this rig. So what do you need to do? Select the cine camera actor. And now you can simply turn on this enable lock at tracing. But before that, just reset the X and Y position so that it will be exactly on the starting position. Now, if you notice, there's a pivot point is always connected with this angle. So it is not a real. So what you need to do, simply select it and just press minus 60. So now this position is actually a pretty good position for the starting almost cinematic shots. Now let's change the film back ratio. So just change it to DSLR and let's uh, change the lens to let's say around 30 millimeter. Now let's decrease the sensor width a little bit so that you can see a little wide mode. So this is perfect. And let's push the camera slightly up and that's it. Now let's work on the cine camera reel. So simply select this reel option and you can find this all the attachments are turned on by default. If you notice all the attachments are here. Now going up you can find this called use absolute position. Simply turn this off. Now going down you can find this option called driver mode. Once you select just change it to duration but before that you just need to create a level sequence. So click here and go to add level sequence and just replace my older one and press yes override and you have something like this now select this two like one and two drag and drop this into your timeline and you will find out something like this now let's jump into our camera view so simply select cine camera actor so now this is the camera view without any animation now select the rig rail and going down as you can see this is called driver mode simply select and change it to duration and now if you notice we have started the animation but if you notice this camera is not pointing to the you know character so what you can do simply select the cine camera rig rail and just turn this off the use point rotation and after that select the camera turn on this enable lock at the tracking and select the dropper and pick this character so what now happened if you notice the character is always pointed to the camera now in the offset you can just push the lens to a little bit upward so that our main focus will be here and now if you notice this is the camera animation done with a very soft cinematic camera animation. Now let's jump into the camera view and let's see that this is it. So without wasting any time and like a lot of new things like camera motion and all smoothness and all you just find out your very amazing camera motion. Now you can use the same thing for product animation as well like product visualization and all. Also you can use this for any cinematic shots. I hope this video will help you a lot. If yes then definitely subscribe to our channel World of VFX. See you soon with some more amazing new content. But you can also comment down below what kind of videos you guys are looking for. See you in my next video. Till then. Bye.